upload photos of your receipts and invoices to Xero, first you want to make sure that you have the Xero app downloaded. Once you have that, you can jump over and sign into your Xero file. You'll see your organization name at the top there and the dashboard just showing your bank accounts and a few other things. To upload our photos though, we want to click the plus sign in the top right hand corner. Then we want to go down to the bottom option, which is upload to files inbox. Then you've got three options there. So you can take a photo of your receipt. You can choose a photo if you already have um, it in your gallery, or you can choose from files. For this time, we are going to take a photo. That opens up like that. So then you can just get your receipt in screen, try and get the shadow out of it. And beautiful, we'll just make sure it's not fuzzy or anything and happy with that. So we can tick uh, use photo in the bottom right there. Now to make sure that that's been uploaded correctly, if you hit those three little dots in the top left hand corner, you can go to the second option which is files. And we can see that we've got that receipt there. So if we open that one up and that's ready to now attach to your transactions in Xero. Profiles, when you first log into your dashboard, you want to click the top left here where your business name will be. Scroll down and click files. And then we can see all of the photos that we've uploaded. Just to mention here as well, if you have a bunch of emails uh, with PDF attachments, you can copy this email address up here. It's unique to your Xero file and you can forward those on and they'll appear in here for you. Just make sure that they are PDFs though, otherwise um, it won't do anything with those emails. But for these, we can click into the photos that we've uploaded. You can click through up here and uh, if you've got a bunch in there that you wanna check what you have, you can see that as well. Another option is if you wanna upload things like bank statements or anything that you wanna keep uh, safe, you can create folders over on the left here, such as um, you can put down 2024 financial year and upload and save, just drag and drop like this. Any important documents that you want to keep there as well. But for the purpose of this video, we want to clear out our inbox and attach all of these receipts. Now you do have the option over on the left here of clicking these three little dots to create a new bill, to create a new sales invoice, a spend money or a receive money. Personally, I think that can get a little bit messy, so I prefer to reconcile from the dashboard. So we want to jump over there and choose our bank account. We're just going to find a dummy transaction, something that we can use. And then we want to scroll down and let's say we're using, we'll pretend this is big W here. So we want to code that off. We're just going to pretend that it's stationary. Let's pretend it's pens. And then to attach a receipt, you want to click add details over here to expand the transaction. And it will give you this little icon here, this little page. If you click that, whether you're um, in a transaction, a bill, an invoice, a contact, wherever you see this, you will be able to attach a document from file. So we click our library there. Now, if you want to make sure you've got the correct one, you can click here and it will give you a quick preview of that receipt. So yep, we're happy with that one. We're going to select on the little tick box, go down and add one file. We can see there's a little one there and we can also click and see now this uh, receipt. So we've coded that all off. We've got our receipt attached. We can hit save transaction and okay. Now, say you've gone back and you've already reconciled, but you want to attach receipts um, to transactions. So we could do a little search. I doubt this will have BW, but we'll just <laughs> um, use it for pretend. So you can just search whatever the supplier is uh, and scroll down. For this one, I'm just going to tick one, that, find that one that has already been reconciled. And I'm going to go and select that one there. Now, if you click in over on the right here, it'll show you what you've um, reconciled previously. And we've got that little document icon up here. So again, add from file library, tick and add. And perfect, we can see that one's now been attached. Anyone who jumps into your Xero file can now see that receipt there. Um, and it's nice and safe with that transaction.